Good day, thank you for joining me for another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. I've got loaded up here the game Night Mission Pinball. And uh, somewhat unusually for me, I decided to try and figure out how to play this um, before I started the program, uh, the recording, I should say. And um, man, it took me like almost 40 minutes to figure out how to play this game. Uh, it turns out that it was meant to be played with keyboard or two joysticks and using the fire buttons on the two joysticks which is a bit odd for sure um, I couldn't find a manual for the Atari version I found Apple, Commodore, DOS I think that's it uh, unfortunately none of those things helped me figure out the key combinations for the Atari however I did finally manage to figure out how to get it to play in joystick mode and uh, which it seems to start in, I believe. So you get it going by depositing a quarter, depositing a quarter, with a Q, and then S to start. And then you need the fire button on one joystick and the fire button on the other joystick. There we go, Le left stick, right stick, or is joystick one, joystick two. And then you, whoop, and that's not how you do it. Uh, you pull down on, Stick one for the spring, and then hit a button to release the ball. And that's it. So, whoa, it is lickety split. Now I didn't, I, once I figured out how to get, once I figured out how to actually control it, I didn't really play. So, this is my first time actually trying to play the game. So you got targets, you got other things. It's a little hard to make out here. There's bumpers and spinners and letters and there's a spinner there. Fly up in the center left there with targets. And um, not quite sure what else we've got here. Anyway, so it's sort of a, I guess it's a, like a night bomber themed pinball game. This is from uh, Sublogic. Uh, it was a company that published this. I believe it was originally an Apple II game. And um, it, it plays like super fast, which is interesting. Uh, I'm going to maybe adjust my spring here a little bit. Try a different one, different approach. Uh, yeah, the ball moves like mad. Oh, get in there, get in there. Interesting. It's like a tunnel type thing. You don't seem to be able to progress the letters at all. There apparently is a sort of a tilt function as well. Uh, I, haven't, well, I haven't tried actually to figure out what you do for that, but in any case, oh, I'm on ball four. Look at that. Interesting. It's like the spring setting. Oh. If you don't change it, launches it to the same place every time. Interesting. Okay. Uh, except then there's some randomization that comes in after that, obviously. <laughs> tough. Tough, tough, tough. Okay. Well, let's go again. You can have up to four players, apparently, which I don't, I don't think I care about. Um, oh, and the spring setting stays the same. Well, I'm going to try a little higher. So you got, oh, I see the targets A, B, C, and D. Presumably that makes a set of some kind. And then the targets for fly. Okay, that's challenging. Uh, well, let's try that same spot again. It hits the D target and then comes down the, the left spinner channel there. Oh! Down the old, dr not the drain, but the side there. I guess I shouldn't keep launching it at the same spot, I suppose, since, since it hits the same exact place every time. Once it gets going, though, there's there's obviously some, some randomization that comes in because the ball's path isn't the same every time after the launch. And there's a t 
tilt somewhere. So I got the A and B targets, but not the C. No, oh, I thought I might be able to get the L there. Oh, I did. And then right down the old drain. Okay, let's tap it back a notch and try that. See where it goes. Oh, right down. <clears throat> that ball is flying. Sound effects are... Did I mention they were done? I can't remember now. The, the sound effects in this game, hopefully I didn't already talk about it, were done with the speaker, the, sorry, the keyboard clicker speaker thing as opposed to the uh, sound chip, which might be a hangover from being ported from the Apple, maybe. But why they wouldn't have implemented sound you know, using the Atari's sound chip is uh, a little bit puzzling to say the least. Anyway, there we go. So this is a fairly early, well, I don't know how early it is. In game terms, 82 is not that early, but um, pinball-wise, I think it's, if not the first, it's one of the first games. And, you know, the physics of it, other than being really, really rapid, seem, seem reasonable to me. Reasonable. Having trouble with enunciation here tonight. Uh, the other, <clears throat> the other pinball game which uh, I had and everybody had, I think pretty much was David's Midnight Magic, and that that was quite the game. Also, you could make your own tables, <clears throat> and as a result, there are like bucket loads of tables homemade tables floating around out there. Oh, okay, so I got all the letters in the channels there. And now it's... Oh, of course it goes down the drain. <coughs> <coughs> so do the letters stay locked, I wonder? Sorry, I hopefully I hopefully by moving the, the microphone arm up, I didn't blow out your eardrums with my coughing. Okay, that didn't go anywhere near the channel. Ooh, fast, fast, fast. Come on. Get on up there. There we go. Did that give me points? What did that give me? I'm not sure. Probably points. I did drain it. I'm not drain it. I did plant it in the, right, the correct channel there by accident. Oh, that's a little cheap when it fires it straight down the middle. I guess that's also true to life to the pinball thing as well. You can't move that arrow either. A lot of the pinball machines I'm familiar with would, would let you change the letters and arrow positions in those top channels with your flipper buttons to give you a better chance of actually getting whatever point things. I guess I just reacted a little too slow there. Let's change this uh, launch angle again. Oh man, 12950. Well, that's not terrible. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little tough to... Uh, I am enjoying this, but it's, it seems to be challenging to get it... to control it well enough to, uh, you know, get the targets and things, but presumably with a bit of practice you could maybe get better at it. Oh, boy. All right, Yeah, there's lots of ways for it to just go straight down the drain after you shoot it. Let's see if I can 
figure out the angle. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> Dang it. I was going to say the angle for that left uh, channel there. Okay, just the spring position again a little bit. Oh boy. That was ball five. All right. One more. One more. Did I? What happened there? Oh, I still have a ball. Never mind. Never mind. so fast my reactions are a little slow for some of the situations here that C target seems to be oh, speak of the devil <laughs> obviously I was gonna say seems to be a little hard to hit but then right after I say that I hit it immediately so never mind those targets don't seem to reset either or at least not immediately okay one more one more it's uh it's all right. I mean, had I had this back in the day, I, w I wouldn't have been disappointed with it, I don't think, unless unless you really can't get any better at it with practice, in which case I probably would have been a little disappointed. It's also kind of hard to see what's going on on the play field. Uh, I could take off the... actually, maybe I will do that before the video's over. I'll take the artifacting off, which will at least allow viewing exactly presumably what all of those letters and things are because uh well maybe i guess that's a maybe it depends how the graphics are set up it's in the high-res graphics mode which yields the, the colors on a cr an old uh an old uh, uh cathode ray tube television and that's obviously being simulated on the emulator here whoa 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 Ooh, swept those, swept those fly targets. That was pretty cool. Let's see if I can. I'm really good at not getting it where I'm trying to get it. Excellent at it, actually. Whoa. It does get moving. There's the CD targets, and A and B are down again. So you rack up, I'm in three times points mode here now, I'm not quite sure how that came to be. One of the targets, presumably. The fly targets, maybe. Oh, I feel like I was close there. Oh, and right down the drain. That was a pretty good first ball. Yeah, that was a pretty good first ball. Let me uh, tune up the... Whoop. See, the other thing is the joysticks seem to change the colors a little bit, which is honestly quite weird. I'm not sure what that's all about. Yeah, I press the I press the flipper about two seconds after the ball comes whipping by. That's reactions for you. I'm like a cat, a cat ninja. not figured out how to get it up that side channel at all. I feel like I may be getting a little bit used to the control, oh, right down the old side drain there. I feel like I may be getting a little bit better at uh, controlling it. I'm going to go, oh, that's as far down as it goes. Well, let's see what happens when you go all the way back. You hit the C. Again, I react far too late. I don't know why that side channel, if you go part way up, it only seems to make a noise once. I'm quite sure what that's about. Oh, maybe you have to do something to reset it. I'm not sure. And, okay, we're missing the G. B. Through no skill of my own. Okay, so I got I'm noticing the bombs stacking up in the middle of the playfield there. Oh shoot. And that's where you get your bonus points. If you can build those up 
Well, maybe that's how you get the 3x if you fill up a bomb stack, maybe. Oh, jeez, right down the, right down the old drain rooney Okay. Oh, I was going to turn the artifacting off and uh, take a look at how that looks. Take a look at how that looks. Video artifacting off. There we go. All right. So we've got 5,000 lit drop. A, B, C, D, 25,000 lit. 200 on the channel there. 10,000 lit. Okay. So I got to that point a couple of times. 1x, 3x, 5x, FLY, ABCD, I covered that already, 100, 300, 300. Huh, okay. There's a zero at the bottom, I'm not sure what that's for. Okay, not bad, not bad. Interesting, interesting game and uh, worth some playtime, I think, if you're interested in... Uh, pinball games, old, old pinball games from 40 years ago. It's certainly worth a look. It plays not too badly. So that's uh, Sublogic's Night Mission Pinball from on the Atari. Oh, it doesn't say a year. Well, I believe on the Apple it was 1982, and so it was probably 83. Oh, hang on a minute. The, uh, the Atari Mania page says 1982, so there you go. Even though they don't have instructions for some reason. They've got scans of everything, but not the instructions. So I don't know how they managed to get all that without having instructions. Anywho, uh, that is going to do it for my look at Night Mission Pinball. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.